Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the TAC Aerodactor in Modern Warfare 3. This is a new LMG over in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 75 likes. I'd highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the secondary, I'm using the TYR. The tactical is the stem. Lethal is frag grenade. Field upgrade is munitions box. Scavenger is so I can pick up ammo off of the ground. Cover sneakers to basically have dead silence, and the gear is EOD padding. Now, over on the vest, I'm using a demolition vest. This is basically resupply, and you get two tactical or two lethals. My bad. Now let's jump straight into the attachments. So I know people are going to be like, "There's no way this is the best class setup. You don't even have this gun leveled up, and you do not have five attachments on your gun." For one, you do not need five attachments on your gun, and honestly, these attachments are like really really good on this gun and i ended up dropping a nuke and i choked two other nukes so over on the stock i'm going to be using the tv x line pro for amp down sight speed this is the lmg so you do need this it does give you a little bit of uh loss to your recoil control so you got to keep that in mind over on the ammunition we're going to be using the high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range now i don't know how true this is but I feel like every time I put this on any gun, I kill in one less bullet, but it does take your effective damage range to 33.4 meters, which is pretty good. It's not great, but it's better than say, whenever you have, you take it off, you have 29 meters. So I highly suggest using this over on the underbarrel. We're going to be using the FTAC MSP 98 hand stop. This gives you aim walking speed, vertical recoil control, gun kick control and a little bit of movement speed i definitely would recommend using this because like other attachments it is an lmg you need movement speed aim walking speed is good too the gun kicks quite a bit so vertical recoil is good and gun kick control and over on the barrel we're going to be using the x axiller 84 short barrel for sprint to fire speed and movement speed you do lose quite a bit of bullet velocity and range so if you go over here, it is at 33.4 because of the high grain rounds. But if you take it off, you're at 38 meters. So that's really preference. Like if you level the gun up, you can obviously put whatever you want. But for me, this is my best class setup. I might change it to 45 rounds, but I don't really think that's necessary. And I'm going for nukes. So 75 rounds is good for me. Personally, it might not be good for you. That is up for, to you to decide. But this is my best class setup. I ended up dropping a nuke, like I said. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you like this video, consider subscribing. And also follow me on Twitch, where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter, where you can stay up to date with me. And I also have a Discord, so if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. All right, we're going to be checking out the new TAC Aerodactor. I don't have this thing all the way leveled up, but I mean, what the attachments that I'm using right now, I don't think I'll change this class or this gun or put any different attachments on this, on this gun. These fit, fit me perfectly. I got to mute the whole team. I'm gonna try to get a new for you guys. I literally was leveling the gun up and I was like, what's the point of even leveling this up? If these are the attachments that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna give you guys my best class setup. So. I got a nuke and everything last game. Like I should've just kept it. Or I should have recorded. I need to turn down my effects just a little bit. Throw this down so I can get some more ammo. I don't want to push up too much because... This other team is going to attack the hard point. Oh, wait, that's a guy? I thought that was my teammate.
spawn on this UAV. This thing kills so quickly. Now, the only thing that keeps it like from killing this quickly is if you don't have high green on. High green like kills them like one less bullet for every gun, it seems like. Where's this other guy at? He's on the UAV in the top left over there. Is he just sitting here? Oh, he is. All right, we're on a 21 right now. Call this Vanson. It's a nice little quad feed right there. Let's go. My teammate is is like right on top of me right there. There we go. There's the nuke right there. Look how easy that was. This gun shreds. You have to control the recoil just a little bit, but if you get that down path, this gun, it melts. Oh, I also got this new camo. It kind of like glows red whenever you're in the dark but then you come well i'll show you guys right now if you come into the, like the light it's like blue and i don't know what that is i guess white or vanilla let's try to win the game this gun is insane My God. The teammate just spawned right next to somebody. Get off that head glitch. What are you doing? We got 49 kills right now. We could just keep slaying out. I mean, the game's not near over. So, um, let's hatch. I thought I caught in the MGB. I can actually try to go for another one here. I think I'm gonna try to do that. God, he almost stuck me. Guys, one. We do have another UAV here. My God. My 
Alright, we're on a 20. I'm not gonna challenge that guy right there. Recall got a little wonky right there. That's not good. I got caught in a mosquito drone. I'm gonna call this in because I'm a little scared. Oh. There's no way that just happened. I knew I knew it was gonna kill me. I know I can get a second nuke though. I have an advanced up right now. That's not the way to start. Alright, that's one. Still this kill, never mind. God, my kills are getting taken. I got pulled out the RPG, oh no. Oh no. One and nine. It's an eleven right there. Let's call this. Let's call this UAV in. Just shredded two people that quickly. We're on a 20 now, again. As soon as I get the second nuke, I'm gonna call it in. That guy's sniping. Oh my god. No, no way he spawned behind me. Oh my gosh. I could have got the double nuke. Is he still just sitting? Oh, that's not the same guy, but that's unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and call the nuke in. I mean, 109 kills with a new gun. And people are gonna be like, how is this the best class setup when you only have four attachments? I mean, I choked two nukes and I got one nuke, so. You tell me. 113 kills, 115 now, GG's.